and welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino. There's Adam. Hey. Twyla's down on Adam's lap. And we are actually heading at the moment, well, we're just going through um, Ballarat because we're here to go to the Four Wheel Drive Caravan Exhibition Show. That's on, I don't know if that's the actual correct name, we'll find out tomorrow. But we're, it's dark and we're um, on our way to find a free camping site where it's not far from, it's about 17 minutes out of Ballarat, is that Adam? Yeah, about that. About that? And do you know the name of it? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, so we don't even know the name, but we've got it in Wiki Apps on Adam's phone down there, and um, we're following that and saying we're going to be there in 14 minutes. So we'll see how we go, and it's raining. So it's not going to be the most exciting night, but anyway, let's see how we go finding this place, and let's just hope we don't get bogged. That bad word. All right, so we've made it to our campsite. Twyla's rugged up already because it's a bit cold. Adam's getting Twyla's food. Most important person first. Mm. Twyla's getting a um, person. Person. <laughs> Excuse me, my fur baby, my fur baby. Anyway, um, dinner. Okay, come up. Yeah, so she's having a dinner. But Adam, what? So what was the name of this place again? It was it Haddon. 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 H a h a double d. O-N. So basically what it is, is we've got, we're on grass, so which is awesome, and it's hard ground, so we're not going to get bogged, hopefully. Um, there is a flushing toilet, which is awesome, isn't there, Adam? There is. And, um, and then also, literally across the road from where we're staying, there is a fish and chip shop, bottle shop, and a... Well, it's actually one, so it's one convenience oh. store that's got the bottle shop, fish and chip shop, um, cafe kind of odds and ends, bits and pieces. Yeah, so uh, and it's just at the entrance here. And I did notice an R RV had um, pulled up, grabbed some chips, and then um, they followed us actually into the park. So we'll go check out all the vans and stuff tomorrow who are next to us and what the actual park's like. But otherwise, Twyla's hungry, she's eating, and it's time to cook dinner. Right. Well, tea's on. Adam's warming up something I whipped up last night, a bit of uh, calabrese. We've got some pasta here. We'll just put some cheese on it. We've got our wine happening. So we're all pretty snug in a rug. It's, um, having that on has actually warmed up the van a bit, so it's quite warm now. Well, not really warm, is it? I'm kind of lying. But um, that's dinner cooked. Got the TV. Good reception at this place. Um, didn't even have to put the antenna up, which is awesome. Uh, so I won't be forgetting to put it down tomorrow. Um, so yeah, got TV. Twyla's still rugged up. You right, baby girl? <laughs> and um, yeah, we're gonna have dinner. Yum. This looks so good. Look at this. Who says you can't have your comforts from home with you when you're camping? But anyway, one thing I will say is the show that I'm going to tomorrow, Adam and Twyla won't be coming because the dogs can't go. Now, the one in Melbourne that we oh. went to just recently, um, Twyla could go, but we did decide not to take her. But this one, yeah, we can't um, take Twyla in. So I'll be going in by myself. And then is staying in the van. What book have you got? You've got a new book you're reading. Oh, I bought a book about the guy. I haven't started it yet. Anyway, so Adam's got a book. He's going to sit in the van and read that. And with Tyler, why I go check out the um, four-wheel driving caravan show. And hopefully we see another van there. But we'll, anyway, we'll see and we'll find out. Anyway, I'm going to eat my food before it gets cold. So I've just woken up and I thought I'll get up and head over to the bathrooms and check out this place along the way. But so here we are. And this is the river behind us. I don't know what river it is, but anyway, it's a river. Um, and then there's quite a few people here. So we've got a few vans. There's a van next to us over here. Um, check out this one. This looks really cool. It's like a four-wheel drive big thing. Go through anything, I reckon. Um, and then over here, 
got more caravans there's an RV over there so as you can see there is quite a few people here there was a several fires last night they all had their fires lit you needed it because it's bloody freezing but um and then over here where you drive in there is a toilet facilities here which I'm about to go check out so hopefully they're okay but anyway well it's a fresh morning I better hurry up and get out of here so we can get to the show come out of the bathrooms they're very clean now the reason why they're clean is because volunteers clean them so you can actually come get an envelope and um, fill this out they'd like you to put your postcode on it please so they know where you're coming from and you can go deliver it across just outside here there's that milk bar-y kind of fish and chip slash mini little shop which has all this stuff in it so you just drop your donation off to these guys but um, yeah, so they've got fish and chips, pizza, lollies, ice cream, drink, newspaper. Look at that. How awesome is that? Anyway, so we're at the Lions Club. So that's who takes care of this. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little place. Also, I've just noticed there's three fire pits. One, two, three. These two vans look like they've taken up the whole spot. I mean, you could probably put a van in there. But anyway, there's three, uh, three fire pits. So you can have fires here. If you have a pit, I don't think you're meant to just burn them on the ground. Um, and also you've got tables and there's a little bridge so there must be a bit of a walk happening so you must, might be able to walk over there and go for a walk but anyway I'm not too sure anyway right, place <coughs> your donation in the web and hand deliver it to the store. so Adam's just about to head on inside to drop off our donation okay. um, for letting us stay the night but we actually might be back tonight. This is the general store yet. that um, we said yesterday. Yeah, yeah, the general store. So the one that I read the sign, it has all the stuff in it. But um, yeah, Twyla, stay there. Anyway, he'll go in and get the money. And then we'll be on our way. So we've just made it to the show. Um, we've parked the van. They've got free parking. So at the showgrounds, which is good. The bad thing is, obviously, we already knew that Twyla couldn't come, but I just double-checked just to make sure. I went to the gates, and it said no dogs. So, Adam and Twyla are sitting this one out. There's Twyla. She's got a lead on. There's plenty of grass they can walk around out in the car park. And um, I've just boiled the kettle again for Adam so he can have some nice soup. But anyway, let's head in to this show. So we've just made it into the, the Great Outdoor All Drive Expo. I've got this little map they've given me to check it all out. There is so many things on display here. I can't see any uh, camper vans at the moment. I don't think there will be any, but there is caravans, there's tents, there's full drives. There is so much to see. So let's go start checking this place out. So I've got Steve here with me and he's going to tell us a little bit about these beasts. That's what I want to call them. Yeah. Is that a good way to describe yeah, these? Are. The beasts? Off-road off animals. Yeah. So this is Conqueror of the Road. What is it? Conqueror of the Road. Conqueror Off-Road. Off-Road. Victoria. Victoria. Fantastic. All right. So tell us all about it, Steve. Um, all right. Uh, Should we start over here? Yep. Maybe? Yep. So the heritage is South African. So they were originally built for the South African Army. Oh wow! So yep. the military tough, um, they extremely look it. yeah, <laughs> extremely user friendly, um, full airbag, airbag suspension on our range, the UEV 440 or yep. the 490, depending what you like. Um, the 440, two main beds, one huge bed. Yep. On the front, oh, and then that. a double on the side. You can access your pantry from inside, TV, aircon, heater, comes complete. Wow, and then that just flips up yep. and makes the bed longer. Yep. yep. So that comes up. Wow, look at 
look at that. And then I'll just come around this side. And then you got a bit of the... Yep, you got the dual batwing awnings. Yep. Complete. Freestanding awnings. Wow. And this one sits you back... 56 grand drive away. Beautiful, look at that. Ready to go to conquer the roads. Check that out. So this is your number one? Yep. This yep. is the UEV 490. So it comes standard external kitchen, Snowmaster fridge. Comes complete with all cutlery. Wow, look at that. Cups, drinks. And here you've got your own bar. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't mind that at all. All right. Your pantry. Isn't that good? Your dual batwing awnings. Yep. Full airbag suspension. They come with the five year warranty. All right, we'll take Joe it. special 63,500. Wow. Well, let's head on in yep. and check it out. So we've got a bed here. And then we come through. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this. I'm blown away. This is awesome. So you got your TV, you got all your systems up yep. here. Yeah. You got your fans, yep. speakers, awesome. And um, more storage, which is which yep. on our channel we love storage, so yep. that's great. So this section also converts into a bed area. Another bed as well. Wow, and it feels so warm in here. Has this got heating? Yes, it's got heating in it. Wow, look there it is down there. Yep. It's blowing out plenty of heat, it's beautiful. And uh, there's the big massive bed. All right, wow, this is awesome. Thank you so much, Steve, for showing us around You're today. Welcome. Awesome. Have a great one. Good luck, to, good luck at the show. All right, next, I'm gonna check out these guys, track trailer, let's go. All right, so we're looking at the T-Vans. These are pretty cool. So what the T-Van stands for is a transitional van between tent and camper van or caravan it should say so we've got this one which is their top of the range and obviously you can see up there that would all pull out into tents and all the rest of it um, and then over here we have this version which again opens up into a tent in the back so that's pretty much like what the other one would look like there so we'll go into and have a closer look this one's got the pop out sink and you got your burner. Look at this bench space, so good. Really good. And then you've got a fridge coming out on the side here. So you've got your fridge there. And um, obviously there's bit pockets of storage everywhere. So all these are designed and made in Australia, in Bayswater, to be honest. Um, so you've got storage under the bed. Uh, looks like you've got a heater system here. You've got all your power and everything you need here. Your beds, your fans. How cool are these? And then now I'm standing in the tent side of it. And even in the tent, they've even put a bench across here. How cool is that? Um, you could, you know, you could pop your phone on there, your keys or whatever you need. And then in here, you could actually have your toilet or shower if you wanted to or chose to or extra storage. So yeah, it's quite um, quite roomy and um, compact. And this is something that you could fit inside your garage. They got the bigger version. Well, it's not, it's a bit different this one. This is more like a caravan, the one in the back. I won't take you through that today, only because there's people in there and looks like they're seriously thinking about buying one of these babies. But yeah, these guys, if you ever get a chance to check them out, definitely check them out. They're so cool. Now, it's a four-wheel drive show, so I can't not show you some four-wheel drives. And of course, I've had to pick the Jeep. I love Jeeps, they're amazing. I've always wanted one, Adam's never let me get one. But check this one out, electric blue, how cool is that? Anyway, let's have a look at some of the Jeeps and the rest of the four-wheel drives that go on show. Now we're at the Maverick Campus stand. Let's go in and check out some 
what they've got to offer. So as you come up steps, you've got your kitchen, well, sorry, your dining table and chairs and your kitchen on this side. And then you've got all beautiful cupboards and we've got the bed back here, more cupboard space and bench space, which we love. And in this one, it's got the little pop-up roof. Looks like it's got heating and aircon on the roof. And then also you even have a walk-in shower and toilet. But obviously because it is a pop-up, you have this part up here. But yeah, they've got all different types. They've got full caravans. They've got, um, also they've got ones that are more tent-like. So anyway, and there's your command center and TV. All right, let's go check out another one. So this one here is literally half tent so that pushes all down these are ideal if you've got a garage and you can't fit um you can't fit a big caravan in front of your house they're ideal for storage for that reason uh, they're easy to tow um, because you can see right over them it's just like uh towing a um, trailer so yeah if you're not confident in towing something big this would be ideal for you so we've got the pull out kitchen which is awesome Love that, pulls out, you got water, you got gas, you got a bit of storage in there, you got your power systems all there, power plug outside, then you got a heap of storage in here, you can put your esky fridge in there, you got a um, bit of a pantry happening here, steps that come up and you walk on in and check this out, look how nice this is done. The colours they've chosen for this is beautiful, um, you got a bed up there for the kids and then through the kitchen you got your big seating u-shape and then also your table that can fold down so you can have this all open and clear um, you got your drawers heating so you can see the heating down there speakers and then as well your other bed for yourself to sleep in so anyway this is looking beautiful nice and the colors i like well, if you like the convenience of having a van that pops down, but you don't like the idea of a tent, check this out. This is a hard top that pops up and then literally you can, you've got a proper full size van. How awesome is this? We definitely got to go in and check this one out. Let's go in and check this guy out, but he looks like a bit like a beast. Check these stairs out, how cool are these? And then you walk up in, and then inside, they've got a nice color palette as well. You got all this lighting, you got this awesome sunroof, which obviously has, you can totally have block out on that. Check this one out, it's so cool. And then you got the aircon heating, sorry, the heating down there. Um, you got a TV up here. You can see how the poles here, that's what lifts the roof up and keeps it up. But you feel like you're just inside a proper caravan. Like it doesn't even feel like it's a, you know, and look at this storage, check out all this storage you've got. So you can actually keep these packed. You don't have to empty them. And some of the uh, vans that compact down, you can't keep stuff in the cupboards because you compact it down and you don't have the cupboards. But anyway, Check that, I'm a bit excited about this one. This is really cool. I like the flooring. And then also it even has in here your toilet, a sink, and obviously you've got a spot here where you would put your um, shower head. So you can have a shower. Oh, there you go. It's right there. So that lifts up and goes inside the shower head. But this is really cool. I love it. Good, Good work, guys.
like most of the shows we go to, there's always a award RV superstore where you can pick up all different camping stuff at a really good price. So make sure you check these guys out. You can go up and down the stand. There's heaps of things, you know, from uh, toilet cleaners to toilet paper to um, hammocks, um, you name it, they've got it. Chairs. So definitely check these guys out. Anyway, we're gonna keep on moving on. So we ran into these guys in Melbourne. Now we're checking them out here. How cool are these? We showed you these last time, but you definitely got to grab some of these. These are awesome. How cool. They got all different ones. Anyway, it was nice seeing the stand again and uh, checking it out. So now I thought I'll check out 230. Check this out. They've even got swags for dogs. That's what made me stop here. But let's go in and check out some of their swags and some of their tents that you can put on top of your car. Check that out. All right, I know I'm here meant to be filming vans for everyone, but I thought I'd have to check this out. I've just met Dan. And Dan, what company are you from? Ember Hot Tubs. Now, what have you come up with here? So you are one of the inventors of this, yeah? Yes. This, Dean, is our eight seat wood-fired hot tub. Yep, and it, and it all just packs down, yeah? It does, it all packs up, so it takes about less than an hour for one person with no tools to yep. put it together and it will pack down into the boot of a car and you guys make these in geelong yes how awesome is that and look at this and the water supposedly the heat pumps the water through so you don't have it's not electric or anything correct now i haven't shown you this yet but that's the actual fire burning in there and then the water pumps through how cool is that what a fantastic idea can i put one on order <laughs> you sure can do all right i've got to go i've got to go put one on <laughs> order on. now So I'm now on the Jayco stand. So let's check out what they've got to offer. Let's go through a few of their vans and have a look what they've got here today. This is really nice. You've got your bed up that end and plenty of cupboard space this has got the small pot roof and then you come around here you've got your table and chairs more storage so this doesn't pack away you can put the storage in here and then also you've got this really modern looking kitchen really nice colors um you've got a stove top your tv hooks onto there you've got speakers on the floor and then through here you've got this huge fridge love it absolutely love that i'd love one that big in our van uh, and also you've got your control center here and then through here you got a mirror hi guys and you have your toilet um, this is just the curtain that comes across for privacy and then here you've got your half shower which obviously has this guy here but yeah so there's your shower and it's got a vent up there to help with ventilation but anyway otherwise this is one nice van all right let's check out this one this looks like it goes off-road this one's selling for 80 just over eighty thousand, and then up you've got the same kind of fridge as before how cool is that and then well I like the colors of this um, you've got the bed down that end, you've got two fans, which is always handy, plenty of storage, kind of a similar layer to the last one actually, very similar, just different colour palette, and 
yep, same setup. Control center again. Bit more storage over here. So anywhere they can fit storage, these guys, they pop storage in, which is always handy. Again, hi guys. And your toilet and sink and again, shower. And again, this one is a pop top. So you've got your pop top there. All right. Right, and the last one we're gonna visit for Jayco is this one. Check this out, 99,000, there it is. That's all the details there. Let's go up inside and check it out. It's a lot different to the other ones we saw. This is a full hard top. Look at this. Beds down there. How nice does that look? You've got plenty of storage. Let's spin around and check out. There's microwave, the sink. Look how nice that sink is. Look at the black accessories. And then you've got this really nice, and obviously this would uh, fold out to a bed probably, I'd, I'd assume. But um, you've got the couch there. This awesome sunroof check that out that looks great you can open that up for a bit of air and cross ventilation and then you've got your power station here which is cool more storage plus your tv that went past we can sit here a fridge that was even bigger with freezer how cool is that and then over here you got plenty more storage fans another spot that you can hook a tv up to um and then through here, you have the bathroom. Look at this mirror. It looks like you would have in an apartment. How cool is that? And then down there, you got plenty of storage again. A washing machine, you have your toilet. And then up here, you've got your little window there happening. And then you've got a full shower. Look at this and look at that. How good does that look? Jaco really knows how to put them together. All right, well, let's go out of here, but uh, yeah, I really like it. Well, there you have it, that's it. For this show, I'm gonna go head out and see Adam and Twyla in the van and have some lunch. I'm starving, but there was plenty of place in here you can eat, but I thought I won't be rude and uh, eat without Adam and Twyla, so I better head out. But um, yeah, this was, that was only a small snippet of what they had to offer. There was plenty here. Definitely worth the trip up here and checking it out if you uh, ever get a chance for next year. All right, guys, so let's get out of here. Well, I got out of there just in time. Look at Twyla, she's waiting for me. There she is. Oh, so upsetting that she couldn't come in. But anyway, let's have some lunch. Hey, baby girl. So we just pulled over at Lake Wind Wind Windery. Wind how do you say it? Windery. Windery. Um, to make some well late breakfast, lunch. Um, <laughs> so we got toast sandwiches, we got eggs. So we're just gonna do some egg and toast sandwiches for lunch. We've got our chicken out ready for tonight. Tonight we're actually gonna make some Indian curry. So I'll show you how we're gonna do that, we'll manage to do that later. And uh while we've been out for a walk, she's all wet. It's just absolute the weather's just absolutely horrendous. Um and yeah, she's just drying off on the couch. But um that's our view for lunch. Okay, so we've just pulled up back to where we were camping last night. Now, this is what we're facing. It is just rain, rain, rain. The same people are still here, as you can see. So we really, really, really want to get in over there and have a fireplace, it's but it's a bit tight. So we can't have a fire. And we even went into the bunnies and bought kindling and I brought some water already. Squeeze in there. And um, so, but I mean, it is raining as well, so it doesn't help. So we're just deciding, well, we're definitely gonna stay here, 
but we just don't know if the rain's going to stop so we can at least look there's a blue sky you can just see it if we can get that over us we want to take twyla for a good walk she hasn't had a good walk today have you have you even though you're still wet from your last walk but you need a longer walk anyway all right guys well this is winter camping not in winter <laughs> all right well the rain has stopped which is good so we're gonna head out and um, go for a walk with Twyla. So we'll see how we go. It's a bit nippy. There she is. She's got a jumper on. He's rocked up. And what's that? Another RV. Another one. Another RV. Oh, well. here comes another RV. Let's check this one out. It's driving really slow. Oh, here it comes. Oh, we're gonna tip over, are we? Oh, gosh. It's a big RV. Look at that one. It has a pop out doors and all. Anyway, all right. Let's go for a walk. So we're back for our walk. It started raining again and Twyla is now soaked. No, nah, she's not too bad. She had a jacket on. Adam's just, what are you doing, Adam? You're cleaning in between her paws? Her pads. Her being, pads? Being fanatical. Because <laughs> they know my luck. She'll be on my side for, for now, for the evening, and she's going to make my side of the bed couch wet. Yes. Yeah, so, so, yeah, he doesn't want his um, side of the bed all ruined by Twyla. Okay. But we did pick up some goodies. We uh, got some salt of guinea chips, and Adam brought it, got a chocolate bar, and I think he got an ice cream. Wait, oh, it's in there. There's an ice cream. So we're set for the night, even if it does rain. We've got a bit of uh, food to entertain us. Just no campfire this weekend. But um, soon we're going to get on the, um, it's time to turn the curry on. Hey. Yum. All right, well, Twyla's fed. She's happy. And now it's time to feed us. Adam is whipping up a uh, red korma. We've got this um, pack. Did you get it from Coles or something, yeah? Uh, uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think, wait, here, here's a picture. This one here. And um, yeah, it's a, it comes with three different sashes and we're cooking chicken. Oh, sachets. 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 <laughs> Not the sachet, like a <laughs> Look at your beanie, rice. the way you got on your head. It looks like it's half falling off your head. Is How it? funny, yeah. I haven't checked my beanie yet. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, look, we've got a mirror in. Yep, there you go. Getting pretty for cooking. Showing us how to cook, Adam. Yep. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. It's, we haven't got any heating in here tonight, and it's warm. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's so, cold you know, you know, we all got, we do have heating and cooling, but if you, we don't have mains, we can't have it on. So, it's all about lots of blankets, and, uh, having warm curries to keep us warm <laughs> so um we're doing this in two pots tonight but we're just using the one burner so we're going to cook the chicken first get that cooked and then after the rice is cooked and as we're draining it we're going to chuck that back on the one burner the chicken back on the one burner to get it warmed up again so then that way we can do this whole meal two pots one cooktop now we do have I always carry um, another two burner, which we normally do our barbecues on, but because we're cooking inside tonight, I don't like having two of the gas things going. We just prefer to just cook on the one. And we well, we're using the... that because we can use the gas in the van for the shower. Exactly. Yeah, oh yeah, and that's and that's and if we have had been asked this question before, why don't we use our our um, three burners on here, which we can, but we keep that gas for if we want to have a shower in the morning um, when we're off grid, and uh, because the gas warms up the water, and trust me, you don't want to have a cold shower when it's one degrees outside or less. Or we'll get surprised <laughs> halfway and it runs out. Exactly, exactly. So. That's that. Anyway, Adam's doing his magic. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, so we're all done. Adam's just dishing up and it smells, I can't describe how it smells in here. I, it smells so good. 
And with all this cooking we've done and the steam and the water, it has warmed up our van and we haven't even got a heater on and it actually feels quite warm. So look at this. Look how good this looks. Now who said, like I said last time, who said you can't have what you can have at home when you're camping? Look at this. This is amazing. And we're off grid. We're not even, we haven't even got power and we're doing this. And well, we do have power. Our lights but, go out right now. Yeah, I know. If our lights go out, that'd be funny because there hasn't been much sun today. So we're hoping our um, one solar panel keeps us going. But at the moment, we do have TV going. We've got our lights on. We're charging our phones. Well, not mine at the moment because I'm filming on it. But, you know, look at this. Five star dining in my eyes. <laughs> Someone's Maybe not easily quite. pleased. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Fun of a cheat. Fun of a cheat. The unseen Levi Casbolt stepped up to the challenge, kicking two in the last quarter. So this morning we're having some kind of like toasties. I'm just doing it in the pan. Some salami and cheese. And he's just having his coffee. What do you feel like Very doing good. today? Mm, buying a heater, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> So we thought to end our trip would we'll come into the city of Ballarat and walk around. We might check out a gallery or two and uh, grab a coffee and try to find a bakery to get something to eat. You know how much we love our bakeries. But anyway, let's go and see what we can find on this lovely Sunday morning. It's not really lovely. It's like a couple So what did you end up buying, Mr. Adams? Uh, so I bought a landscape watercolour painting from a local artist named Linton Horsfield. So he specialises in portraiture, landscape and uh, natural uh, natural environments, uh, animals and flora, a bit of, bit of fauna as well. So um, yeah, yes, had a nice there piece. it is. So something small and easy to carry. Yeah, and these guys, they're um, run by the council, but they, and they tie in with the gallery. Um, so they have lots of different artists, they sell pieces, so yeah. We... So when you're in Ballarat, pop in and check them out, work out. Yeah, and they let us take Tyler in, which was yeah. even nicer. All right, well, let's go to the next gallery. The Art Gallery of Ballarat is one of our favorite places we like to visit every time we're in town. This place is free to get into, unless they have an exhibition, sometimes they're free, sometimes they're not, but otherwise it's definitely worth the look and stopping by. I'm out the front waiting my turn with Twyla. Adam's inside now checking out the gallery. They even have a gift shop if you're interested. Otherwise, yeah, great place to stop.
So we stopped off at 1816, yeah, 18, yeah, 1816 Bakehouse. They haven't got much signage up to say what the name of their shop is, and I actually had to go ask. Um, but I tell you, I am giving this place my best pie award. It's one of the best pies I have had in a long time. Um, I've nearly finished it. Look at this. It's got the most like full on big chunks of proper meat in it. It doesn't feel like it's been, you know, um, made in a factory. It's real homemade stuff. Twyla just absolutely, look, look at her. She wants more. <laughs> and Adam's got a, what do you call them? Rosemary. Ro Rosemary. Rosemary. <laughs> the Karcher. Um, it's got some olives on it and stuff that looks really good. And then for dinner tonight, we thought we'll go home tonight because we're on our way back. And um, we brought this big crunchy roll. I think it's got rosemary, um, pepper. Anyway, it looks really good. It's in the window. So we grabbed that. We're going to make a nice pumpkin soup tonight to go with that. So anyway, I thought I'd give them my award for best pie that I've had since we started their life, I reckon. Cheers. Well, you know what we like on this channel? We always looking out for different camper vans on the road. Check this one out. They've done it two trains. So they've got the black down the bottom, the white up top. You can see they've got two solar panels at the back. How cool does that look? And they've got a massive long window. So it gets so much light in there. It'd be so beautiful. Anyway, we'll keep looking around, but how cool is that? back from Ballarat and I don't know if I mentioned earlier in the video but this I thought this would be awesome to buy today from the um, bakery uh, so I could make a pumpkin soup so we've gotten home unpacked and I've rushed on these pumpkin soups cooking away right now so we're gonna blend this soon it's nearly soft and then we're gonna pair that with this beautiful loaf of bread yeah <laughs> Everything's happening tonight. Adam's decided to get on the cooking oh bandwagon and he's cooking. <laughs> what are you making? Vanilla cake. Vanilla cake? Yeah. Oh, vanilla cake. And over here, the uh, soup is ready. It is hot, hot, hot. So I'm about to dish up and eat this. Yeah. There you have it. All done and dished up and ready to eat. It looks so good. And to be honest, I'm kind of looking forward to Adam's cake now that he's mentioned it. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get into this, have some soup, and then we'll end this video. Well guys, that's it for another week. Thank you so much for watching. It's been so much fun, Twyla. Are you dozing off? <laughs> She's dozing off. She's so exhausted. It's been it's been tiring making pumpkin soup tonight and Adam making his cake. How did, it, how did the cake end up, Adam? Oh, the cake actually. Yeah, too late. Can you show us the cake? Ooh, we are. look at that. We're about to have this. It's how sweet. yummy. Oh, oh, now she's awake. Now you're awake. Now you're awake. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Remember, guys, to head down to the bottom, like, subscribe, and tell all your friends about us. We'll see you next Sunday, as per usual, at 5 p.m. See you guys. See you guys. Bye. I can't wave. Bye.